welcome back everyone back to True Fire Gaming where the gaming is fun. Let's get onto it back with um, some more Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Uh, last time we left off uh, part 8, we had just uh, finished in the shanty towns. We're going on to the next area. Uh, let's get into it. So uh, let's uh, just sit down a little bit and uh, talk about some of the different kinds of skills. Uh, in this one there's not too many but uh, some of them work and uh, the upgrades are generally just built from salvage. Uh, that's why I'm collecting quite a little, uh, a lot of things uh, like catches, uh, opening crates, uh, picking up things like uh, the uh, salvage boxes and things like that they go towards the salvage and uh, picking up uh, things from corpses uh, when you kill them you got the different uh, parts of things that you can polish and uh, connect to uh, make your guns and your bow better Eventually, uh, if you pick up enough things and open enough of the boxes, uh, like the grey ones, uh, you get upgrades for your weapons. Uh, that also makes it a lot easier towards the end. Uh, that's probably why I'm a lot more accustomed to it. Uh, generally, when you play this game, it's not too hard. Let's go down here and let's carry on with the game here. One of the big things that you can use is the uh, survival instincts and you can see me using it quite a lot here. It will reveal quite a bit of the enemies. There is another skill that you can pick up but I generally uh, like battling. I don't really need to uh, use it that much. It lights up the different types of enemies similar to uh, the uh, radars and different uh, thermal goggles that you get in the, the uh, Metal Gear series.
And if you're enjoying this video, smash the like down below, leave a comment. Uh, if you're new to this channel, click that red subscribe button and uh, turn on your notifications so you can see every video as they drop. Every Tuesday and Friday, they'll be coming up. Main videos, uh, some new uh, videos will be coming out very soon. I can't climb up there from here. Ah, damn it. Well, they got some kind of setup for hauling cargo. Maybe you can use it to come around the other side. All right. I'm on my way. So we have to go to the side so we can go uh, try and get up top of that tower to help our friend out. Go up and across over here and see if uh, we can get there. Don't forget to get the salvages. There's an achievement for uh, collecting uh, salvage from the corpses, 200. You can easily do it in one playthrough. If you're having trouble with this one, just make sure to uh, pick up every single body. Here's some animals if you want them. I can kill the small animals, the chickens, that's an achievement. Can kill the medium ones uh, and the rare ones. Uh, they're both uh, small achievements. Here's another relic. Like an ancient form of wallet. Let's carry on folks. Here is a good place to get uh, some animal skins and things like that. When I first played it I didn't really understand the animals and what you need to do because uh, generally they don't really explain that part very well. But there are skills that you can go into to get it if that's uh, what you're trying to do at the start. Or if that's a particular uh, achievement, so you uh, start the game again so that you can do that. Again, uh, this is another great area to get animals. Uh, at the beginning, it's a good area as well. Uh, you can get the deer there. And then again, at the end, the, there's another area there. You can uh, get a few more skins there from uh, animals there. On another note, there is another game that I want to play that has another kind of almost uh, identical version of upgradable skills similar to this uh, Far Cry series, which I'm going to be playing very soon, folks. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have 1 and 2, but we're going to go from the classic uh, Far Cry 3, Far Cry 4, and then Far Cry 5. We 
again you can see me using this skill here uh, showcasing it a lot in this episode uh, just to show you if you get stuck with the enemies here you can use uh, it to uh, find out where they're hiding it's the L1 button on the uh, d-pad in the first tomb reader and then it's L R3 on the right stick uh, on Rise of the Tomb Raider. On another note, the Rise of the Tomb Raider is going to be coming out very soon after I've completed this game. Already started recording it. Uh, tune in for that and several other games that are coming out. The Last of Us. I've got uh, the rest of Attack on Titan, Attack on Titan 2, and DLC for the third part there. And I've got several other games. Skyrim is going to be coming out very soon. Uh, several other games that I'm going to be uploading. Uh, Borderlands 1 and 2. Uh, I've got the uh, Telltale and prequel sequel to do uh, for that there. Uh, Visor Shock. Uh, the Darksiders games. I've got a few other uh, Dark. Devil May Cry games that are going to be coming out. Uh, Dark Souls very soon after I finish Sicaro. Uh, I've got more episodes of that. I've been uh, practicing a bit. Uh, again, uh, I don't get a lot of time to play the sort of hardcore games. Uh, a lot of my game uh, time is spent uh, on making these videos, so some of them are uh, classic games. So, uh, but. Uh, Definitely going to be introducing the Naruto series and some anime games like the uh, Black Clover and the uh, Academy of uh, Heroes there and several other games uh, such as the Batman series and several other games that are coming out very soon. Like Borderlands 3, uh, I've got the Division, Division 2 that is out currently. I'll be going over that. I got Digimon game and Yu Gi Oh game that I'm going to do a short series on that. And eventually, when I get the chance, I'm going to start live streaming on Twitch. So, well, as soon as I've got my account up, that we can start doing that again what we're doing uh, on this game at the moment is more of a commentary generally because uh, I really like this uh, first version of Tomb Raider here it was so simple uh, so uh, classic that it brought us back to Tomb Raider series they changed it up a bit with the bow and uh, how you have to survive on the island I really like this idea of games uh, now the enemies are starting to shoot back a bit more uh, they've got better guns uh, they've got bows and stuff so uh, just be wary of the assault rifles uh, they, they do have quite a few things uh, some of them have shotguns so just wary uh, also they have grenades and dynamite so watch out for that and the snipers the uh, bows are usually at the top or some of the dynamiters will throw dynamite down at you so uh, just watch out for those uh, conserve your ammo if you can for bigger fights because you'll use quite a lot of it remember to pick up the salvage from the, uh, the corpses after you've killed them and remember you can uh, move around a bit more but I like uh, to be steady uh, there you go you've got a dynamite uh, or firecracker thing here don't forget to uh, you can uh, go back into uh, cover here there we go that section's up with uh, we're coming up to uh, another tomb optional tomb here so let's go inside go across here and uh, jump across here oh. and uh, there's a campfire here so you can rest there's also some more little uh, things here around this area that we're gonna go around and pick up 
let's rest up and get another skill here again I'm just picking at what I think I need at the time uh, I will be getting some dodge skills and some more mastery because the next areas so we're going to use it a bit more the dodge counter that is going to be the one I'm going to pick right now That'll be my next skill, Accomplished Killer. Will be my first one, actually. I'm going to go with this, and then I'm going to go with Dodge Counter, and then eventually we'll unlock the uh, whole uh, expert area. Uh, there's not too many skills we need in survival. I've already unlocked the ones that I actually need. I will be picking up Arrow Retrieval eventually. It's not a must-have. Um, you don't need to have Climbers Agility, but I picked it up. Uh, one of the first skills because we didn't really need too much at the beginning uh, a lot of these skills at the end I'm going to be getting the dodge counter uh, trio there because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of dodging uh, that's another um, achievement there another one is to get a set amount of kills with each uh, weapon and some more achievements down the line is uh, generally just completing the game or uh, upgrading all your weapons and upgrading all your skills there Sometimes it can take some time, so sometimes you might want to uh, use a lot of your salvage on your weapons instead of getting tend to certain ones. Alright guys, let's go into this uh, tomb over here. Uh, this one's actually quite relatively easy. Uh, once you know what you're doing, uh, like in the next couple of Tomb Raider games, uh, uh, they're a little bit more investigative and you have to think a little bit more. But in these ones, uh, they're quite relatively easy. Apart from the fact that it is quite dark. Uh, this one you have to go to the right here. You can't quite see it it's quite dark what I do is on my TV I turn up the uh, brightness and stuff so I can see a little bit more Right, so what we want to do is we want to break uh, the side there, you just see me jump up on it. Uh, we want to get four ga gas canisters, uh, one of them is on the shelf there and one of them uh, we have to use uh, a rope to uh, pull it against the uh, shelf at the top there on the right hand side. Uh, I pulled it at the wrong angle, you want to go to the left a little bit. First we want to burn this. We 
there we go it's not in the way anymore and uh, now we can go to the angle here and pull this and it will go into the uh, shelf here we'll get the uh, gas canister here and there we go we have three now we just have to uh, jump at the shelf here what we got to do is pick up one of the gas canisters sometimes people don't quite think that well it does give you a hint here that the shelf is weak uh, so uh, we just throw a gas canister on it and there we are it's broken the uh, oh not quite we'll have to get another one here there we go just one more there we go it's broken oh not quite here we go there we go got there eventually right let's uh, put them all here what we want to do is put them all here and then we w want a little bit of a run and uh, what you want to do is roll and then jump and then uh, press square to on the PlayStation uh, to uh, use your axe there to uh, get onto the wall you want to do it quite relatively quickly um, it's like the uh, circle button to uh, roll or press it twice to roll uh, so that you can do the scramble thing and then roll and then jump to get you that boost so that you can jump else you haven't got the momentum to uh, run up it there we go we jump onto the ladder there and then we go up into the uh, room on the right hand side there there we go and that is the tomb there we get a skill point for that let's carry on and go towards uh, the next area folks There we go, what we needed to do to unlock the master ones is uh, to go into each tree and get a set amount of skills there. I think it's about four or five skills. 
uh, probably four skills in each tree, and then eventually unlock the master versions of uh, the uh, weapons there and uh, some of the other skills on the other trees so that we can get the superior skills. Uh, what we want is the expert uh, skills similar to the dodge so that we can get the dodge skills and the uh, expert weapon skills there folks because they're the main ones we're concentrating on. Uh, if you're on a higher difficulty it's going to be harder to uh, do it so you can definitely need these tombs to get your skill points there. That's generally the point of it. Let's look around these areas, folks, uh, to try and find the area. Alright, let's go uh, this way around. Let's see what's around here. Found a catch there. And there we go, we found a uh, relic or a uh, a note there that was left and a relic here. A Ming Dynasty Jade figurine. This one looks genuine. Looks like a hippo to me. Oh well. Min Dynasty it is. Thanks, Lara. Great update there. Let's get this bit of salvage here. With our trusty uh, torch that we have now nice to be able to just uh, pop that out there right I think we're almost done in this section let's carry on shall we more salvage here. Let's look around here and see what we've got. Some more uh, salvage there. And we've got a crate here. See if we can get some weapon parts out of it. Nope, we just got some salvage. Eventually we will get to that point where we get some more. Jump up here. Now let's carry on. Let's see where we can go. That's some more salvage there. Oh, no. There's normally salvage around here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. Jump onto this and we'll carry on with the uh, mission here. It's going to turn around and then we're going to eventually get to uh, the uh, next bit here. Looks like we've got another fight on our hands. Get ready, folks. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. Not that bad, but uh, you can see this quite.
here again you got some barrels and stuff don't forget uh, the environment definitely uh, that they've given us is quite a good one here let's jump down and see what we got remember you can get an achievement by uh, killing them whilst they're uh, ziplining uh, I didn't get quite a few of them this time but uh, I'm sure I'll get it in the next one uh, they will be some axe wielders and sort of people that will come up at the beginning here We've got a dynamiter there as well, and some other people, some boas, and uh, a few uh, gun wielders. You want to try and take out that dynamiter as well. This is an achievement to get a uh, dynamiter whilst uh, he's uh, around some people. This is probably a good area to do it. Here again I'm showcasing the fire arrows that we got in the last episode. They're very useful. They literally set them on fire straight away. Especially close range. You don't have to stay on the side here. I did for a little bit. You can't quite see what I'm firing at. What I'm using is you can see the uh, zoom in and that uh, for the uh, bow here is going red. Every time it's going red, I'm just firing when it uh, is almost at its max point so that it does the most damage possible. Uh, I'm not really thinking about it sometimes I'm just firing because sometimes uh, they will run at you or throw dynamite like they are uh, I generally want to fire at them as fast as possible do anything to distract them run around uh, roll quickly move a bit more than you would normally in this area What I'm doing is firing at their feet sometimes because it will just fire up and it will kill them. Shooting at the body as well with the fire arrow is quite good or just shooting at the surrounded area will make the floor go on fire which is actually another good tactic that I learned whilst playing this game. Again try and keep in cover because it, they can get quite damagey. They have assault rifles and stuff. And again, dynamite, watch out for that. Again, the shanty towns in this area is pretty much one of my favourite areas because there's so many enemies, and this is where you finally get a chance to uh, get a good fight in there. Or we kill your friend! Don't fucking do it! <laughs> okay! Okay! That's nothing, okay. pal! I grew up in Glasgow! Now kick them off the edge!
That's the end of this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. No. Grim. I'll make the Skills. Look what you in the danger room.